Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. Princess Ileana of Romania, captured in this image from 1910, was recognized by her later title, Mother Alexandra. She held the distinction of being the youngest daughter of King Ferdinand I of Romania. Two youthful ladies have entered the photographer's studio to have their portrait taken before departing for a private school in the early 1900s. In this 1925 photograph, Lupe Velez, a Mexican actress, singer, and dancer, is depicted. She rose to prominence during the golden age of Hollywood cinema, initiating her career as a performer in Mexican vaudeville in the early 1920s. It has now been 48 hours since the 13 inches of snow blanketed Boston, Massachusetts in February of 1934 and some cars remain buried under the snow while roads remain untouched by plows. Miss Potters commissioned this 1887 portrait to enhance her portfolio, intending to distribute it to various catalog and magazine companies. The Brebner kids were eager to go sledding, but the sled was laden with uncut wood. They had to complete the woodcutting task before they could enjoy sledding. A mother and her daughter rode on a Vespa as they made their way back home following a visit with family friends across town. In the 1970s, a young man encounters Andre the Giant for the first time and is struck by his towering stature, filled with awe at the sheer magnitude of his height. In the late 1800s, visiting a photographer's studio was an exciting prospect. It offered the opportunity to have a portrait captured though there was always the uncertainty of whether it truly reflected one's authentic self. In 1937, in Williams County, North Dakota, three farm children delighted in the chance to frolic on a handmade merry-go-round crafted by their father from a weathered wagon wheel. In 1914, Mobile, Alabama, there was a young newsboy named Ferris. Every day he would meticulously don his finest attire before setting out to sell newspapers. Remini, situated along the Adriatic coast in Italy's Emilia-Romagna region, is renowned for its beachside nightclubs, shallow waters, and is also the home of this 1958 sailboat. Two Inuit girls have come across two polar bear cubs while on the ice and are considering what actions, if any, they should take to assist them. During the nascent stages of college football, safety equipment was scarcely regarded as significant, as evidenced by this context. A photograph captured by Charles Gill, titled Boating on the Piney, dated 1910, 
showcases Charles's cousins Jenny and Mary Ware, along with his brother Tom, seated in their John boat. During a brief intermission in her 1953 stage performance, this chorus girl swiftly tended to a repair before resuming her role. In 1941, Vancouver, British Columbia, a young lady strikes a pose for the camera while perched atop her Shetland pony. In this 1910 portrait, four men and four women are captured, all meticulously dressed for the occasion, yet their expressions betray a lack of joy or contentment, suggesting a disconnect between their outward appearance and inner emotions. A photo for Life magazine of a young lady doing some kind of repair on her automobile in the early 1970s. In 1927, two youthful equestrians are depicted as they ready their horses for their daily workout. Alexander Graham Bell, a Scottish-born inventor, scientist, and engineer, is renowned for patenting the inaugural practical telephone and co-founding the American Telephone and Telegraph Company in 1885. The photographer fetched his child's pedal car for a young lady who had been teasing her parents, claiming she knew how to drive their recently acquired 1920s automobile. During pleasant weather, this route is commonly chosen by travelers heading to Bothell, Washington. However, it's revealing itself as less than ideal during the rainy season of 1927. A charming young woman stepped into the photography studio of the early 20th century, requesting a modest and affordable portrait. The individual known as Albert Neekop was born in the year 1877. The photograph presented here captures him in 1908 within the vicinity of Stockholm. A photograph captured by Jack Delano depicts a young girl who ventured out to the chicken coop, gathering nearly two dozen eggs for her mother in 1940 to be used for the family's breakfast. In the bustling market of County Galway, Ireland, circa 1910, a mother and her daughter arrived with a lively array of ducks and chicks to offer for sale. In 